early morning. Um, I'm from University of Chile, and we're going to show um, some results from an uh, ecosystem for parents. These are first grade students, so parents are very important. Um, oops. I don't know what happened. Okay, now. So, okay. So these A7 students, you know, uh, parents effects explain 29% of the variance of attainment in, in this is some statistics and well-known statistics and schools only 5% at that age. So parents are very important. Second, we're working in low socioeconomic status schools where parents normally have low expectations of attainment, so lower than the rest of the schools. So that's our challenge, how to uh, involve them. One of the problems is that uh, um, parents do, do not have effective strategies to support linear school. They don't have time. Moreover, there are two rival strategies. It's called the reading war. So which one to choose is not simple. And, and there's a lot of books, but also with some strategies, but they don't normally say how to implement them. Uh, and so we, we want to use some ideas like um, books like Henry Cook about the circuit of collective brain. So how to have a community that would work together. These are teachers with parents at their school. So parents can start improving their strategies and sharing strategies. Um, you know, larger and more, more interconnected groups, you need more tools know-how. So somehow we need larger groups and interconnected groups. And we don't want something that's called a like Tasmania effect. And this was 12,000 years ago because of rising sea, local people uh, were cut off from Australia and somehow they have a regression of cultural tools and knowledge like how to make boats. And, and so the, the collective brain idea is what is driving us behind. So how to produce this collective brain idea with parents that are at home? So we, we try to start evolutionary mechanisms for learning so that facilitate that parents imitate each other from other schools, from other regions of the country. So they, somehow to foster this having sex between ideas, I mean, the recombination of ideas, strategies, so, so each one copy um, study from other parents, but also combine them. Uh, but also we need for that mechanism an initial population strategy, so gives them some ideas, and so also give them some ideas how the fitness of every strategy, so give them feedback how this is working. So this is basically the mechanism we implemented. Um, the first generation, the first generation was uh, trying to mother offspring is very important in humans and non-human primates, so how to in, introduce that in, in the activities. Also games, games and plays very important for, it's like a, a, a natural didactic in humans and non-humans as well. Uh, also glove puppets, you know, like, uh, like this, and put it in the glove. And it's very important, the, the psychology of this is uh, the puppets and imaginary companions. At their use, at that age, around 67% of kids, and they have effect in, in, in language, in developing of social activities, and also in, 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 in metacognition, because you, you teach your puppet or you, and you talk to your puppet, and that means that you somehow, according to Vygotsky, that help you to internalize arguments and improve. Also, we use coloring books, but in this study, we haven't, uh, we're not going to talk about coloring books. These are special coloring books with instructions how to paint, and so these are the, the, the main three strategies are mother offspring activity, games and puppets and imaginary companions. So there is also a territorial, very important territorial component in these collective brains. We have certain preference for our group. Reaction times are less if it's our from our group than the other groups. Interestingly, these markers of groups are flexible. They can extend beyond language, ethnicity, and race. That's very important. Uh, there's this classic Hal uh, Khaldun, uh, uh, Sabilla, this social cohesion. Social cohesion was somehow taught by 
even Khaldun in those years, that was just more than um, 600 years ago. And so the, the territorial company is very important there. So you feel the identity, your territory, and it means that helps to produce more collaboration. So we try to foster that also. So that's the main thing, this evolutionary mechanism, giving them some initial strategies, but it's territorial component. Territorial means that my school, my district, my region, compared to other regions. So we started this the second semester last year. We get up, up more than 1,000 schools, lots of economic schools that uh, voluntarily adopted this. It's an app where the teacher can upload the activities that um, are doing the kids. And we have participation finally is about 30,000 students. This represents roughly 50% of the country's students at that grade level. So this is how this was adapted from June. So this is the second semester here, starting June. And both at the, at the right, you see at the end of the year is December, how it was going adapted, and then the number of schools adapted this solution. And this, these are this an app that use the teachers. Here's, for example, in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the cell phone, you can see a map with all at the left, you see different schools. Black points means schools are not participating. White circles are participating, but they haven't still connected. And the blue and the red small cell phones are schools that uh, at the first grade they're participating. Red cell phones means they already uploaded, the teacher uploaded his own video of the strategies or from their parents. And the middle uh, screenshot is a parent. Uh, you, you go to the school and you can see uh, from different parents from this class, activities they, they want to share with others. And, and at the right, you see um, here at the right, you see the curriculum. So how much language has been doing during the, the, up to this year? And they, uh, this is in three strands, oral communication, writing, and, and, and reading. And from this one of them, of different part of the curriculum, how this class is, is improving in and, uh, um, the coverage of the curriculum. Uh, if you, this is a screenshot of the country. And you see here for every region, like the, 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 the intensity of activities that are doing all the schools in this, for example, region, this metropolitan region where Santiago is. And if you continue here, is, you, you assume to San, metropolitan region is Santiago, you see for every district how much they've been doing uh, activities in, in, in with this, the teacher and the parents. And here is just one district. You see all the schools there. And also you see how much the school is doing the level of activity. Uh, and and, uh, and if, you, if you go to this school and you click there, then you can see the video of parents that want to share how they've been doing with this and the studies they have. So every parent and every teacher can see the map and can go to any school and watch the videos and see what our, our parents are doing or teachers as well. Now, uh, to foster activity with this, uh, the parents, what we did is we did a big uh, breakfast with 170 schools. Each school sent just one parent, so the 170 different schools from the majority region. And in the breakfast, to be able to go to the breakfast, Parents have to have recorded an activity at one, two minutes um, with some strategies like games, you know, like uh, games like this, or words, um, puppets, all kind of thing. And they, they, they brought the, 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 the videos. The plan was to continue, but we have a social turmoil just one week after this in the whole country. And so was not able to continue to other regions. So we only, uh, uh, show uh, that, that activity. Now, from the almost 100 videos we analyze, 82% videos show mother and the child, 49% videos of word cementation activities, 48% uh, didactic games, 26% um, show glove puppets or hump puppets. Um, so this is basically, um, no, that after that we have two expert raters analyzing all the videos, 65% of the videos were just very good, 30% are satisfactory, and 5% unsatisfactory. So we did like a decision tree here using a, a 
simple um, induction algorithm. And we see that um, initially we have 66% 66, 66 very good. And, and then, but if you see with, with puppets, we have, uh, uh, with hand puppets, you improve to almost 100% of them were very good. With this, the, the video have no glove puppet, it's only 50%, but if you have a didactic game, then you have 91% of them pretty good and so on. So we could see what were the more important variables in the videos. We have like um, uh, uh, 20 different features of the video uh, 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 annotated by the, uh, teachers, and then we could see which ones were the ones that produced better quality. Um, after that, we produce like a, a community learning book for where you, you will see all the activities of, of all the parents. So this was a, a like a recognition for all of them. We have this virtual book where we have all the, the videos of each of them. And so uh, these are our conclusions. Our conclusion with the developer to tutorial them learning ecosystem is a whole map from the whole country for every region, for every district, for every school uh, with the how the coverage of the of the of the curriculum, the national curriculum for every part of the curriculum, every strand of the curriculum, for every strand, like writing every of the different components, learning object of the components. Uh, with that, we were able to to do a very deep statistical analysis of the difference between regions and different kinds of schools and girls and boys. Okay, so that's very important for us. But in this in this presentation, we, we were mostly interested in the parents, the community. So we follow the national curriculum. We have number of parents sharing their experience. Next this year, we have first grade and second grade, and they're starting to share their experience as well. This is uh, even with this pandemic, we have, we have somehow make them collaborate and and show their experience so everybody could. Uh, copy this idea, imitate this idea, recombine these ideas. So we started this evolutionary mechanism for uh, uh, trying to use this collective brain and and also with the territorial components for the territorial motivation. So people from this district can compare to other districts of the same the same region, and then this produce something more more sharing and collaboration between the districts. And what we found that um, after analyzing this first component of parents from 100 different schools, that um, mother offspring playing games and glove puppets somehow was up to this moment. The thing that we can give to them in order to, to improve and to continue developing new strategies for, for parents at home to support the teaching of uh, of the today kids. So that's it. Thank you very much. Any questions? Thank you very much, Roberto. Uh, we don't have many time for questions, but I would like to have uh, a short answer, if possible, by you. Uh, here in Europe, uh, we stopped uh, all educational activities at school uh, for quite a long time. What happened uh, in your country because of the pandemic? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was showing here the map, the whole system. But yeah, in our country also, we stopped the school. The school started in March and only had one week of school. Now every, everything is stopped. So we're doing with this uh, system. They are having a teacher uh, working with the, with the students at, at home, but the teacher uh, these are first grades. It's very difficult for them to use online activities. Uh, so, but the teacher, they have the textbooks and the, the parents send by WhatsApp or other media by email the, the, the task and the teacher write it and, and put it on the, by using their app. And once they put in the app, they go to this map. It says here, I go to this map and they can see the, also collect the videos that this parents is, 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 is a video and he, and 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 so somehow we have been having a, a rather good participation. It's not as good as we would like to because of difficulties um, of doing online with the 
uh, or the, the this first grade and second grade teachers working with with their parents it is now it's much difficult some of these most of these teachers they don't know the students because you know first week almost only half of them attend first especially in low socioeconomic status schools so they haven't never seen their students so that's very difficult to to make a, a a more emotional and social link with the families. Also, they don't know the parents, so this is a big challenge now. Okay, thank you very much, Roberto. And I take the opportunity for reminding the attendance uh, of uh, 